Hello everybody, I'm Mimi Lock, and this is my second Red vs. Blue Season 15 review. Now be aware, um, as this review is coming out on 11 o'clock EST on April 16th, my reaction won't be up until tomorrow. And that's just because I have to, you know, because, you know, it's, it's, it's Easter. I gotta go to church, and I gotta eat, and I gotta come back, and it's not gonna be rendered at all, because I, I gotta leave at, like, 9 so I hope you understand, but I guess there's not much else to say other than the description of the episode. So the description of Red vs. Blue Episode 2 The Chronicle says, IDA reporter Dylan Andrews begins to search for the Reds and Blues in Blood Gulch Canyon with the help of a new cameraman. Now when I was reading um, it in my reaction, I was kind of skeptical. I still am kind of upset of what happened, but it's not. It's not anything too serious, so I'm not gonna worry about it. But hey guys, let's dive on in to the recap, I guess. So when we start, Andrew shows up in Blood Gold with the new cameraman. Because the old guy quit. His name was Frank, which made me love him even more and makes it sad for him to go. But I guess he was tired of being arrested and shot at. Which is what he actually said in the episode. Now, the new dude isn't very experienced when it comes to combat journalism. In fact, he's just doing it on an internship, which is kind of surprising. He's basically in the military, so I don't see how they could warrant an internship for that. But he's pretty into musical theater, and just theater in general. He says he wants to take on a stage name, and he wants to be called Jax Jones, with an X and a Z. This makes me really remind him of Donut, and while he's probably not actually Donut, he sounds like him, but literally, and just the way he talks in terms of his interests, really into that cinematography. But he kind of sounds like Dan Gutwin, so I'm not going to let my hope die, even though he's probably not actually Donut. Donut's probably somewhere else. Donut's always somewhere in the beginning of a series, and then he'll just show up out of nowhere, because we'll think he's dead. Like Doc, Andrew stops at the blue base to get some footage, and that's when Sister shows up. This was the second best part of the episode, and I'll touch on the overall best part later on. So Sister is just being Sister, being herself. Apparently she's still holding raves, like she said in Reconstruction. Yeah, I throw raves every night. Charge five bucks a head. So let, let's hope she's still charging five bucks a head, because I want to get in there. Eventually. And another thing is that this is the first time in the series that Sister's full name has been spoken. It was in the fan guide on the RXB DVD and even in the season 14 episode 1, but someone finally said it. Now Andrews is kind of trying to get information out of Sister, seeing as how she's Griff's brother. So she says, go ask Vic. Now for those of you that don't know um, or that haven't seen season 14, Vic is an AI, he's a computer program, uh, and, and that's why he was kind of in the cave, just on a screen in season 5. But Sister gives Andrews the advice to go find Vic. And it happens, which is the best part of the episode in my opinion. Vic's back and has crippling depression. I mean, he acts like Vic, don't get me wrong, but he's just got that hint of just suicidal nonsense. You know, not gonna try to make anybody that's actually suicidal feel bad. Jeff. I'm not, I'm not, like, the actual suicide, I will die. I'm gonna kill myself. Guys, the last time Jeff's not gonna kill himself, can you chill? Well, that's off topic. <laughs> I made it funny. Anyway, back to the recap. So Vic says he'll give Andrews the records of just where the Reds and Blues have been, um, in their history of just being in Blood Gulch. But, in order to get those, he wants her to pull the plug on him. Because, you know, Mad suicidal crazy. Vic really wants to die. I guess it's just eye dubs. Holy shit, though, they kind of look alike. So Dylan had to do what she had to do, and Vic's dead, I guess. If someone were to vote back in, according to the, the season 14 logic, then the problem would fix itself, and Vic would just be boring Vic and all that stuff. But yeah, rest in peace of Vic, man. <sighs> I kind of want him to come back, but now it'll just be strange. But after Andrews gets the files, the records of the Reds and Blues and Blood Gulch, uh, her and Jax Jones decide to walk out of the canyon, because, well, it's only the first step. But as they're leaving, the camera pans up with, with some ominous music to a guy in red-black armor that has 
somewhat of a unicorn horn. And I'd like to point out that this episode came out for first members on National Unicorn Day. Nice. What if he actually is a unicorn? We'll never know. We probably will. Eventually, just not now. But that's the recap. Now for my final thoughts, guys. So first off, right off the bat, I was reading the comment and um, I came across this comment from Caboose Tank Zero. And they said, but I feel like Unicorn Man is actually a good guy, given the over-the-top cliff fan of music and the fact that the cameraman was talking about it, and the fact that the dude has a very over-the-top evil guy voice, it's quite possibly an over-the-top misdirection. It fell for a classic misdirection! So, maybe Caboose Tank Zero is right. Maybe Unicorn Guy is a good guy, just based on all these over-the-top uh, effects and stuff. Like, the ominous music was just too much. And it took forever to get to the top of the cliff, actually. So that's still up in the air. But I really enjoyed Sister's reappearance. Sister is hilarious in my opinion, one of the best characters, and I'm glad she came back. Even if it was just for a second in this episode. Because, I mean, she's only been in, what, six seasons? Five. In that season, five, six, 13, 14, and 15. By the way, if you don't know what episode she was in 14, it's Mr. Red versus Mr. Blue. Watch it, it's hilarious. I I thought I could skip 14, but in my rewatch, I decided, you know what, let's see what happens. And I laughed my ass off. So watch it, all of it, please. And Vic's reappearance just made me go crazy. Not murder a bird level crazy, but just the regular kind of crazy. And I hope either Jax Jones sticks around for the season to support Andrews, or that it becomes a kind of running joke that she gets a new cameraman every episode and just doesn't notice. That'd be kind of funny. And again, that unicorn guy, he might be a good guy. Anyone could be a good guy, really. I mean, Felix seemed like a fucking saint, but... <sighs> Backstabber. It sucks, man, but it's the truth. And yeah, guys, has all my... That's basically all my personal input for this episode, so... Like if you enjoyed, if you got something out of this video, and subscribe if you want more of my Red vs. Blue content, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Sayonara.